going to do something in this video that not only have I never done before, nobody's ever done before because it involves some custom parts that I designed. Now, I do want to say, I do want to get right out of the way. The credit for this video does not go to me because although I designed these, I designed them on paper. I sketched them. The person actually 3D modeled the parts that I'm showcasing in this video is Rothenak, and I highly recommend checking them out. I will link these uh, pieces in the description below. They are free to download and print yourself if you have a printer or to use on studio or what have you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. And again, tons and tons of credit. So much credit goes to Rothenak. So what is this video about? Well, first off, I'm going to be saving the best till last, but it's three masks, three masks that have been showcased on the channel before. So they're not brand new, but what is different about today's video is I'm going to be doing a direct comparison between all of their forms that inspired these masks. Because my very first mask from all of Bionicle was this one right here. In fact, this exact mask is the how that I got back all the way in 2001. It's in good shape. I'm very happy about it. But I'm very particular about this mask. Obviously, it's very iconic. I don't know if it's, it's not my favorite mask from all of Bionicle. I just want to get that out of the way. But it is the one that has the most sentimental connection for me. And I also am of the controversial opinion that this mask is pretty all right, too. I like the Nuva masks for the most part. And the How is definitely among my favorites. Maybe number two. So in 2008, you have to imagine the shoes that I was in when I saw this. Which wasn't a how, at least not to me. It's a perfectly fine mask, and Lego calls it a how. It definitely has some homages to the how, and it's probably the closest of the three Mystica masks to its predecessors, but it just doesn't do it for me. There are some iconic points, aspects to the original how mask that this mask just didn't have. So when I went out of my way to design a mask for this version of Tahu, my version of Tahu Mystica, and one of my more popular builds on this channel, I had to make sure that I captured everything I wanted while keeping it relatively simple in its design and, let's say, period accurate to 2008's design. If I compare this mask to something else that came out in 2008, like this, for example, you can see that there are a lot of features here that showcase on here as well. Not the same features, this doesn't have fans or anything on it, but geometric aspects, very thin crest lines that kind of protrude straight out from the mask, perpendicular to it, you know, and I love that aspect to it. There's a lot of similarities here that I think other people have pointed out rightfully to Solik's mask, because Solik's mask is one of my favorites from 2008. I absolutely took inspiration from that. And you'll notice it has these sort of slits on the side here, very reminiscent to, and in fact, equal to the original how as well. But you'll also notice that the overall shape is kind of bell-shaped, right? It curves outward, it flares outwards towards the bottom. And that is intentional because of course, the how Nuva does that as well. In fact, there are crests on this mask too, three of them toward the top of the mask that of course, I had to make sure to mimic as well. But you'll notice that there's something here that's missing from this mask, and it is that heavy sort of angry eyebrow shape. That is a very quintessential feature, in my opinion, of the original How and How Nuva that this mask just doesn't have. The eyebrow on this is very flat on the front. Looks very cool for this mask. It almost has a knight type of aesthetic, right? Like a, like a royal knight, a royal guard. It's a lovely mask. I really like it. I don't like it for Tahu, though, so I had to make sure that I carried over that original design. And it's also worth noting, too, that the mouth is back again, but now it's a little more geometric in its shape rather than being a full-on egg or oval shape. However, directly underneath that mouth, you'll see we've got these little protrusions at the bottom as well, which also appear on the Nuva mask. Really love this mask, and of course, it is compatible with the visor from the Ma resets, though... I don't really recommend putting them on 3D printed masks because the tolerances can be painful to remove. That said, though, let's go ahead and move on to the next one here, because I also controversially am not the world's biggest fan of this mask. I think it's fine. I think it's very iconic. I don't hate it. And it's still among my favorite masks ever from Bionicle. But in terms of 2001 masks, it's not my favorite, even though I know a lot of other people really love this mask. And it's a fairly simple design that I do quite appreciate. So of course, when I saw the Nuva version of this mask, I liked this one a lot. This is my favorite Nuva mask. And although I wouldn't necessarily say I like it more than the Miru original, because I don't think I can make a distinction here. They're just too nostalgic for me. I do recognize some aspects of this mask that I really resonate with, notably these five 
crests on the mask that have this sort of triangular shape. And the reason that I like those as much as I do is because, A, this was the first Toa Nuva mask that I ever saw, and also I lived two houses down from a very particular tree native where I live called the sweet gum tree and its leaves are five-sided similar to this not exactly the same so I always associated this with that tree right so of course when I went out of my way I appreciate this mask I think it looks fine I don't really care and I've talked in the past about how these fans face the same direction I know that like on planes some of them have the fans in the same direction whatever that's fine I don't like it here, and that's just my opinion. That said, it's a fine mask, but I think it reverts a little too much to the original Miru in its design, so I had to make sure, again, to carry both masks sort of together, and this is what I ended up coming up with. Obviously, very heavily inspired by the original Miru, though now with larger holes on the sides, on the eyes especially, as well. But if you look at the masks from the side, the side profile is actually pretty similar. It's even got these little protrusions on the cheek area there as well. Really love the design of this mask and it's still got the little circle in between the middle of the eyes it's got the five crests but now they are sort of a straight protrusion out from the mask rather than sort of a triangular point and again it's a 2008 mask that made the most sense for me with this mask specifically love the design of this mask it's of course got that mouth hole though it doesn't have the teeth in this version and i'm kind of partial to the teeth i'm not sure exactly how i feel about them not being here yet so I don't know if I'd like it more with the teeth. Maybe I'll try it in the future. That said, moving on to the last mask to do for this video, probably the hardest to make a sort of middleman between these two masks and also make it look like a 2008 mask. These two right here, right? These are both Picaris, obviously, but they're probably the most dissimilar, I think, from their primary and secondary versions, right? The Mata and Nuva versions. They're, you're hard pressed to see too many similarities between these two masks. The overall location of the eyes, maybe, and the overall eye shape, though the eyes are obviously larger here. It's not like the case with the How Nuva versus How Mata, where the eyes are nearly the same shape and in the same location, right? So when I saw the 2008 version of this mask, I was pretty let down for a couple of reasons. A, it's still a cool mask, but it does not look like a, a, a Pakari to me. It looks, if anything, like a Kirkan, and many people have made that same observation. But also the eye holes on it. They're fairly far apart, meaning that you can't really look this character straight on and see its eyes. You kind of have to look at it from the side. I'm just not the biggest fan of that overall. It's a neat mask, don't get me wrong. I just don't like it for Pahatu, or for, as a Pakari for Onua. So. When I went out of my way to design a mask for this, this is what we came up with. This is probably the one I'm happiest with the most. It's definitely the most detailed of the three. As you'll notice, the other two have fairly large uh, surfaces that are relatively flat, right? Like these surfaces here. And yeah, I downloaded some low poly versions of them, so they're faceted, but don't worry too much about that. But this right here has a lot less of those flat faces, and that is intentional. This mask has a lot of detail to it because the Nuva mask has a lot of detail to it. And I wanted to make sure I captured as many of those details as possible, but still carried over aspects of what made the original Picari so iconic. That sort of octagonal, maybe egg-like shape. Obviously, the little slits on the cheek, which are very particular in their shape. From the camera here, they look like they're just horizontal lines, but they're not. They're actually kind of curved inward. They recess into the mask a little bit, and then they curve back. It's this very particular shape, and I quite love it. Obviously, this area next to the eyes here, where you've got a little bit of an inset there as well, but you don't have a hole or anything there, all of that is reflected here. You've got the vents in the top, though there's one fewer because I didn't want to make too many details. And again, this was designed by Rothenak, just sketched up by me. I couldn't remember if I put two or three slits up there, but you get the point, right? And it's also worth noting, too, that these aren't just the sideways horizontal slits, but they also have that sort of S-curve. They inset inward a little bit and then curve back into the sides of the face of that side of the mask. It's a lovely thing. But I think probably the most lovely detail on this mask is one of the most easy to look over. It's so It's, it's one that I appreciate so much. Next to the eye, there's a little bit of an inset there. You can see that it's not just a completely flat surface from the inside of the eye to, to the farthest outside corner there, but there's actually an indentation. There's an area of missing material there, which I love, and it goes quite deep in there as well. 
because that's such an important aspect of the original Picari, in my opinion. Obviously, it's smaller here. It's not quite as wide, and it's got this overall kind of goggle shape around the eyes, which was intentional. This is a flying mask at the end of the day, and I thought like a flight goggle type of aesthetic would be really cool. But overall, really love this mask. Again, three crests on the mask with the two outside ones sort of bulging out toward the end. Very similar to how the How version, the outside ones sort of flare outward. They get a little bit thicker. And that's the same as the original How Nuva as well, where those two crests on the outside get a little bit thicker towards the end there as well. I just love it. This this is this is great. Uh, this is probably my favorite of the three. And I did sketch up a whole six of them. Now, we did not model all six of them yet. There may be a point in the future where the other three do get modeled or, you know, I come up with different versions of them. Right now, I'm actually leaning towards a different version of the uh, Akaku than what I previously enjoyed. I don't know why, but like my just preference changed. It's weird. Anyway, point being. Again, if you do like these masks, these masks are freely available to download, so you can use them in studio, or if you have a 3D printer, you can 3D print them and play around with them yourself. I highly recommend doing that. The axles are all 1.5 axle in length, so you do have room for a visor, but I would maybe recommend actually changing that out for a stud, only because at least with my 3D prints, with resin specifically, it can be a bit weak. Uh, that that axle can snap off quite easily, and there's no real reinforcement for the axle itself because again, it's designed for the uh, the visor. Um, so in the future, I will probably update mine to have the stud on the inside. But I love these masks, and I cannot cannot recommend them enough. Cannot recommend Rothenex Services enough. Highly recommend you check them out. And before I go, I guess I'll just go ahead and showcase that. Yeah, I didn't show this mask off. Obviously, this is the other mirror from 2008. Except when I see it, I don't see a mirror. I see a How Nuva, but lime green instead of red. Had this mask been red, it would have looked pretty decently like a How Nuva. Not perfect, obviously, but a good interpretation of it overall. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. It helps me recover. And I'm about 85% of the way there. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.